What's up guys, this is my review of the unofficial version of the Cyanogen Mod 11 which is based on the latest version of Android, that is the Android 4.4 KitKat. So there you see, and okay so you also get this. So here we have the Sun Engine Mod version 11 and the unofficial. So this is still in the developing phase. But nevertheless, since the ROM is out, let's go ahead and see the performance. So right from the lock screen, nothing much. We have the transparent status bar and the ability to add additional widgets that you have seen with the previous version as well. So let's go ahead and unlock it. So here you have the new icons for the camera, the application drawer but the icon for the dialer is missing hopefully we will get that with the future updates and here you have this new google search you can say ok google to enable the google now so that is really good you also have this transparent status bar with white icons there you go so moving on to the app drawer here you get the apollo music player the default music player that you have with the cyanogen mod ROM and uh, you also have this DSP manager which enhances your music quality works great with the Apollo music player the default browser calculator the camera app works great no issues at all whether it's a video or taking an image there you go no issues at all but you don't have this uh, photosphere mode that you have with the Android 4.3 so that is missing and uh, what else? You have this cloud print, the file manager, the default file manager, hangouts, and with the hangouts, you do get this SMS integration. So that is working really good. Very minimal ROM, nothing too much fancy, all the Google apps, basic Google apps. So this ROM is working really good, no issues at all so far. Everything is working fine. All the applications that you get with this ROM works perfect, no issues at all. All the basic functionality that you get with this device like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, etc. works perfect. Even the GPS is working fine, no issues at all. So let me just launch the Google Maps. And here as you can see it's working really fine, no issues at all. So going back to the settings menu. Here you have a home tab from where you can switch the launcher. By default you get these two launchers and both of them works really fine no issues at all let me just show it to you so this is another launcher nothing uh, too different so going back onto the settings the IR blaster is not working as per the XDA thread and apart from that everything is working really fine uh, since the ROM is still in the developing phase, there might be some issues, but for normal uses, the ROM is really good. No crashes, no forced closes with any of the applications. Whether it's your music player or your camera or your Play Store, everything is working fine. No issues with the connectivity and so on. So these are the benchmark scores that you have with this ROM. And the battery life is truly amazing. You know, you get like 12 hours on heavy uses, a solid 12 hours on heavy uses. No issues at all and uh, if you use I mean if you use your device moderate you know if you have moderate uses like uh, a few hours of music calling texting and a few hours of Wi-Fi then 24 hours 20 to 24 hours you will not have any problems at all so this ROM is very fast and very light very smooth very responsive and uh, since this is still in the developing phase the future updates will definitely improve the performance since the newer version of Android has a very neat and a clean UI you don't have anything extra on your application drawer apart from your applications like you had widgets with the previous versions so to add widgets or to change wallpapers tap and hold and you will get the options to choose your wallpaper or to add widgets since this ROM is still in the unofficial state I will be doing a full review once the final version is available I just wanted to show that uh, the ROM is working perfect, you know, everything is working fine for normal uses. If you want a stock Android experience on your HTC One, you know, with great battery performance, as of now, this is the best ROM. So, 
that's all for this video guys if you have any suggestion do leave it in the comment section thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great day bye bye now